Deserts are spreading in our world. There are many reasons for this. Climate change, cutting of trees, wrong ways of farming. These are all the reasons why the world is drying up. This is also called desertification. That is, when a fertile land turns into a desert. China is also very worried about this. According to research, 27% of China is currently facing this problem. That is, China's land has become barren. Because of this, 40 million people in China are affected. People's animals are dying. It has become difficult for them to farm. Water sources are running out. In many cities of China, sandstorms have become commonplace, especially in the northwest of China. China is trying all kinds of things here to fight this problem in the same way. They also make artificial rains. They also make green walls on their barren land, that is, a wall of trees. Thousands of workers in China are working on this issue. And China is succeeding in fixing this issue to some extent. From 2009 to 2019, there has been a reduction of 50,000 square kilometers in China's barren areas. But how did China do this? How is China compensating its barren areas? How did China use rabbits in this? Let me explain all this to you. China used a lot of strange techniques for this, like sand dunes used to form in China's areas. This is the sand that flies from the air and gathers at one place. China used a technique for this called the straw checkerboard technique. In this, rice or wheat is filled in straws. And these straws are placed in the shape of a checkerboard on the ground. Half of the straw is on the ground and half above. This forms a barrier. And this barrier affects the flow of air. And sand dunes do not form. This makes the ground below the straw hard and the sand does not move from here. China has an area called Inner Mongolia. This place was also becoming a desert. But China also worked very hard here. And this place is now becoming fertile. Trees have grown here on about six craw acres of land. This place has now grown grass on 45% of the land. This is a very big success. But now you will think that where did the rabbits come from? in all this. How did China use these millions of rabbits for this? For this we will have to know the Rex rabbit. This type of rabbit belongs to France, but it is found in many countries of the world. These rabbits can produce children very quickly. That is, their number can be quite large. They dig pits in the ground. They breed in the same pits. They are also digging the ground in search of food. And that's why the ground is very beneficial. This exchanges gases between the soil and the air, which is very important for the growth of plants. Now let's go to a desert in China. It is called the Kabushi Desert. China used these rabbits in this desert so that this desert can be irrigated. But how? there is a plant called the willow plant. This plant was being planted in this desert of China because these plants keep the soil in place. This plant grows easily in the desert because they don't need much water. China has been planting willow plants in this desert since 1988. Later, China did this. It started spreading rabbits in this place, that is, Rex rabbits. When these rabbits used to eat the grass here, then the seeds of this grass were not digested by them. These seeds cannot be digested. That's why when these rabbits took out their waste material, then those seeds would also come out. And these seeds used to work as a fertilizer in the sand. Because of this, this desert started becoming fertile, and crops also started growing here. China has left more than 10 luck Rex rabbits here in the last 10 years. The locals there breed regular Rex rabbits. These rabbits have helped a lot to transform this desert. In addition to this, China has taken a lot of steps. All this did not happen just because of these rabbits. Anyway, today about one third of the Kabushi Desert has turned green. Many villages have now settled around it. Those people who had left this place have also returned to their homes. Animals are also coming back here. The Chinese government has also put up a solar farm in this desert. China's largest solar farm by which China generates 1,000 megawatts of electricity. The way China has transformed this desert is a very big thing. Rabbit farming is still done in the Kabushi Desert. There are millions of rabbits here, which has become an entire industry in itself. You can imagine how many millions of people have come out of poverty because of this.